All right. All right. This shaft is out of a small block Mopar 318. This uh, is driven off the can. This shaft comes down, it drives the oil pump, the sugar is driven off the hole in the center. All right. This piece I'm not going to replace because I'm not trying to spend money when I don't need to. So it has a little bit of light scoring where the bushing rod's right here. So show you a little bit about how I take care of that. I'm trying to put the camera in a good spot here where you can see and I can also work. So it'll work this way, yeah. So it's mounted in a uh, corded DeWalt drill. Uh, you can use any drill. Um, actually, I used to use stuff like this when I had a drill press. I mount that stuff in a drill press. It's a lot easier. And you ain't got to try to hold and balance a drill at the same time. But I have a piece of 220 grit that's, that's really worn out. It's from doing like light body work and stuff like that. So it's got some Bondo in it. And then I have a piece of 320 that's also used. So it's a little bit, you know, not as aggressive. <clears throat> And then after that, we're going to go to a new piece of uh, quadruple lot steel wool. And that'll give us a fine, final um, polish on it. Can't even talk today. Um, I'd really recommend uh, working your way up to about 600 grit. Uh, if I had uh, something a little bit more fine, actually I might. And we're also going to use this. Very old, crispy, dry, worn out Scotch Brite sponge. We'll, we'll also use that to see how that turns out. Now, the point isn't to really remove material, it's more just to remove the highs, flatten them out with the lows just a smidge, uh, give you a little bit better surface. Probably going to replace the bushing that rides here, so um, I don't want to wear it out, you know. Because if this gets slopping any in there as it's spinning, uh, it'll start ruining the teeth on that cam won't be able to hold up uh, I mean this won't be able to hold straight against the cam and, and match up like it's supposed to if that wears out because once it starts getting further and further away this profile it will start wearing the outer edges more and more alright where's the oh yeah let's use the 220 this is something a little too coarse so I'm going to put it aside Move this a little bit better here. Might give you a pretty good idea how this looks. It's a lot better you still see it but you see how the shine of the scratches I just made down here also kind of matches up here it also feels about the same let's try this one as well uh, I believe this is 320 it doesn't say of course I could probably just look up the UPC on that and tell me exactly what that is uh, I'm gonna grab some oil it uses a slight lubricant kind of help out here I'm going to use some uh, SAE 30 weight non-detergent motor oil. I use it for my oil com my, uh, compressor. Alright, 
Let's just use the back side of the sponge here to wipe it clean. Get the focus here. Fill some up here, close to the top. That's all right. Mainly worried about the the most of it. The most, the majority, is what matters. Unless you live in America. So we're going to see. Looks pretty good. Let's see if um, a bit of oil in there again. Let's see if this uh, worn out Scotch Bright will also refine it. That's after the scotch bright, and then I uh, used my shirt to clean it up. No more scars. Let's take the uh, steel wool as well and see if uh, we can get an even finer polish on it there. That's about as good as new. And we didn't remove a lot of material. You could probably measure that and you'd probably see maybe two or three thousandths off, which really ain't that big of a deal. If you're really worried about it, if it's a high performance engine or anything like that, I'd recommend just replacing the shaft. Um, yeah, that's, that's how good you can get. You can restore parts and stuff like that, save you some money, help you get your, uh, your rod back on the road. So thanks for watching guys, um, whole eight minutes just to show you how to polish the shaft.